this. Okay. I wish I could say I made this, but I didn't. So we have a sweet family that lives about 30 minutes south of us that watches us. Well, Jenny's almost knocked me out with this bag. Put your bag on, buddy. That lives about 30 minutes south of us, and we were talking about rag rugs on one of our lives. Well, I wasn't familiar. I have seen these before, just didn't, I guess the name and the what it is just didn't click or whatever. But I have seen them before, but how cute is that? So she made me one and sent it to me, and I absolutely love it. I love all the different colors. It's so, so, so cute. So it is going in my kitchen. So how cool and exciting is that? And a huge thank you to Carlene's Corner. Um, I appreciate it very much. I'm super, super excited. It's always fun getting stuff in the mail, especially when it's this cute and it's homemade from somebody that watches you. Very, very awesome and very, very thankful. It is a beautiful, beautiful morning. It's supposed to actually rain last night. We were thinking it's gonna rain all morning so this allows us to get some stuff done we got to build some new fence where the deer paddock was we're gonna put it back in and basically for cows because deer season is over but we got to get our new cow and calf out of their little spot let's see if we can find the baby hey ollie where's your baby where's your baby there she is hey rosie hey girl Right, let's get you out of here and let mom have some fresh grass. Hey girl. Hey Rosie. Hey Rosie. We're gonna let mama get some fresh grass here. This is some of that rye fescue growing back through. That we didn't really want them on this grass yet because it's not really completely healed. But this is the one that's got the barn, so we're gonna let them stay here for a little bit longer before they go with the rest of the herd. Okay, so we've taken up all this string here. Um, Cause we're gonna redo these pastures anyway, these temporary paddocks. So we're gonna use the, the poles that we're taking up all the way down here in the deer paddock. So I've got some some great helpers today. Not only AA, but all the girls and JJ. So we're having fun. So Aiden's cutting the, the handles off right here. And that way that's the doors and basically what we call the gates. He's working on those. And then we've got a few more posts to pull up over there. And then we're gonna start building way down here. And again, really pleased with, uh, with these rods. They do a wonderful job there, the fiberglass rods and uh, do well for us. See all this grass is so gorgeous. This is where Aiden killed his deer this year and, and we hunted. So we're able to turn around and now use this for the cattle and let them graze this rye grass on down and it'd be an extra paddock. So we've got a few posts still up from last time. So we've got to put some around the back there and then turn around right here and put some Can all through here this? and this whole long run. So there's our hunting stand. We got we, we to get that down soon. But uh, let's get these up right quick. Are y'all going to be big helpers? Yeah. Sure. So we can use this because that's where our lines go and that's where our gate goes there. So that'll help us. All right, the crew has got every one of them done. We've got one more section to do right here. Past this post here. I think we're going to need about four or five T-posts to finish this up. That should be good. It's really wet right here. It's a low area. This is where we hunt again. But it rained terribly last night, so we might not even put the deer in it. I mean, the deer. We, we might not put the cows in it until like tomorrow or the next day. But we're going to get it ready. So for all this help, what are we going, what are we doing today, guys? Getting a cookie and going to, um, the park. 
What kind of park? What are we doing? Kids mm -hmm. Kingdom. We're going Kids to Kingdom. Kingdom. So we're going to a park and getting a cookie, having a movie night, huh? And they eat the s'mores. Oh yeah, we're going to do some marshmallows and s'mores, huh? So they're excited. So that's how I, uh, I coerce them to help me. Plus they want to come out. It's a beautiful day. It rained last night though, so it's wet. And uh, JJ forgot his boots. He does have these cool spidey shoes though. And you like your spidey shoes? Boots. You do? I have tennis shoes. Stop you didn't wear your boots either? At least I'm the one that did. You wore your boots? Me neither. Was smart too. Really so nobody wore their boots on a rainy day, huh? Except for me and Harley and AA, huh? We couldn't find our boots. Actually, we could, but we stinked. We forgot, and we didn't know where the tennis was. Y'all forgot them. Harley got it there. Yeah, I can actually take care of myself. Stop. We need to get that T post tighter. Well, so close. Satan's gonna get another spindle we are lacking. The second reel on one, two, three, four, five posts. So that means about 120 foot or so that we're still lacking. Man. That's the luck. <laughs> 1,320 foot reel would be about 120 foot short, so. Hayden's going to get some over there where we took that other off. And once we finish this up, it's actually not wet except for this one area right here. It's like a very... See, it's really wet right there. But all this is actually pretty dry. So we're, I think we're going to go ahead and move them in it. Let them eat it down. The only one we're not going to move over here is, of course, Ollie and the new baby. Because it's too wet for that baby. Plus, we want to be close to the baby, too. Do it again. I think you need boots on, huh? Yeah. Why'd you not put them on? Because why? Hmm. Nasty. Jim, what happened to your jacket? Nasty. Why is it nasty? I fell in mud. You fell in mud? Yeah. Why'd you fall in mud? Oh, you want to get on the wood button now? I like your girl jacket. It's mine. I'm freezing right now. Oh, oh, it's not wood. wood. We'll say, that's our bad luck. Hey. Oh, look at that. Took this fence down. We're going to walk them all the way from where they're at now, across these three paddocks here, these temporary paddocks, all the way down to the deer, deer paddock. So, hey, well, I don't know. Let's take her, I guess. They're all going. Let's go with them. Nelly and Petey, you can kind of watch. They're the only two that they just get so skittish. So, let's see if we can get them all moved. Alright, let's just stay behind them. Harley, you walk this way and make them go stay used on the road. So we've got them in. Now we gotta go get the charger right quick. They'll eat all that fresh grass. That went pretty good. The only one we're not worried about, but Nellie is very close to having her baby too. So we really don't want her to have it in this temporary fence and way away from the barn. But then we do have another barn right here if we have to bring them in. That's one thing about us. We put barns kind of pretty much across our property to make it where we have a barn pretty close to every animal if need be. So we're gonna let them go in there. Yeah. Why don't you go and drive and do that and get their charger? And I'll go get their water and all that and start moving it. Yeah. Just trying to learn the area. Our cows haven't been over here in, in probably seven or eight months because we took them off in October. 
or September, October to start planting for deer. So this is kind of new area for them again. So they're gonna kind of accommodate themselves to it and acclimate themselves to it. And then they'll walk the line probably a little bit and then they'll start eating, they'll kind of calm down. See, look how big Allie's bag's getting. She's still got about a month, a little over a month left, about 45 days. But Nellie, Nellie is probably maybe a week or two left. So hopefully she'll be able to stay in here with them. And as she gets close, we can kind of watch her and then try to get her up to that barn. Because they'll start their rotation back in this section and work their way all the way back around to where the dairy stanchion is. So by the time we're at the dairy stanchion, we should have Allie pretty close. But look, <laughs> look at all this junk. Our columns for our house were, were cut. We got everything cut from local meal, y'all know that. But these columns were, were ate from the inside by the pool, by the saltwater pool, crazy. So in the midst of everything going on upstairs, we need to replace some columns on the back porch too, or our whole house was gonna fall. It actually caused a leak inside. But we've got a mess to clean up, me and Ann to do that. I wanna show you why we're at the garage, how important um, prep is for us. So, you know, we have our boxes over here. That's nature seed boxes right there. That has all our fertilization in it and uh, organic fertilizer and our, our nature seed, which we'll talk a little bit about with Bahia, Bermuda, um, uh, we've got some, oh, let's say a little alfalfa, a little orchard, uh, some, some grasses that are more normal to either warm climate grasses. Uh, and then we also, it's got a little extra bedding in there for perennial cool grasses. But on top of that, we're going to spread some Kentucky, uh, 31 fescue and a whole bag of orchard grass too. When we start planting these fields for spring, now this is cool water, uh, cool temp grass. So we will not put all of that on for this season, but we are gonna put it in so where it can help get a seed bank in there and get established by overseeding. Remember, we try to overseed and hay to where we're not digging into the ground because our goal is to try not to disc our grounds, even in our even in our pastures. So we've got some uh, Kentucky 31 and some orchard grass. We also got our potatoes in, guys. So we we're, we have a Quinnebec and then we have a um, our Kennebec, excuse me, which is a white. And then we have a Pontiac red and some Northern red. So the Pontiacs always do really well here and the Northerns do well here. Red potatoes do well up here uh, versus anything else really personally, but I actually like the Kennebecs and the, I like the Yukon Golds better, but we can't really grow them good here. So we've got those ready to go. They'll be going in the ground in about two weeks. So let's go get the tractor, get this junk up, help Aiden move some hay for the animals, try to deep bed some sheep and also deep bed some uh, turkeys just because it's fishing to rain and we want them to have some good fresh bedding to be on and then we'll show you some upstairs rooms too uh, and give you some updates up there